Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Hello everyone and welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is occupations and autumn. And before we get into any lessons boys and girls, we need to sanitize. So please take your sanitizer and rub your hands thoroughly. Remember boys and girls, sanitizer makes sure that we stay far away from germs. So let's try and sanitize as much as possible. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we will be talking about prepositions, syllables and plural nouns. Now for our exercise, boys and girls, let's turn to page six. On page six, we are going to be doing prepositions. Now, prepositions are very fun to do and they are easy to understand. The first thing you need to know is what are the prepositions? Remember, a preposition is a word that tells us where something is. In the box beside, we are given different prepositions. Now we're going to try and put these three prepositions in sentences using our friend here, Mr. Lion. Mr. Lion is going to show us what the preposition actually shows. Remember, we are trying to find out where something is. So, Mr. Lion, can you show us where the word in would be. He says, the lion is in the bowl. In the bowl. Well done. Mr. Lion, what about on? Let's see. The lion is on the table. On the table. Well done. What about Mr. Lion under? The lion is under the table. Under the table. Good job. What about near? The lion is near the table. Near the table. Well done. What about beside? The lion is beside the chair. Beside the chair. Good job. Then we have between. The lion is between the sweets and the toy. The sweets and the toy. And then we have behind. The lion is behind the chair. Behind. Behind the chair. Very good. Then we have in front of. 
The lion is in front of the teacher. In front of the teacher. And those are our prepositions. Now we're going to use the same ones to try and fill in the missing word in the sentences. Let's take a look at our exercise. So number one, up to number 16, we are going to be using the picture that we can see next to the box of prepositions. Now that picture is what we're going to be looking at, just like how we were taking a look at Mr. Lion. Let's take a look at number one. It says, the picnic basket is dash the rug. The picnic basket is dash the rug. Now you need to look for the picnic basket and you need to decide where it is. Is it in the rug? On the rug? Under the rug? I'd like you to put your answer. So you are going to do all of these by yourselves. Read each question twice and then answer it using any of the prepositions in the box. Please take a good look at the picture and that will help you understand where the item is. Take your time and when you are done, please can you go to page 7. On page 7, we are going to be talking about syllables. Everyone, let's say syllables. Syllables. Now, syllables are the sounds a word makes. The word phone has one syllable. Phone. Phone. But the word computer has three syllables. Computer. Computer. Sing the words in the box. Write them under the correct number of syllables and then write a sentence using one word from each of the columns. Now we can see that we have our words in the box. Let's read them together. We have the words earth, earth. Reuse, reuse, trash, trash, energy, energy, glass, glass, sun, sun, recycle. Recycle, reduce, reduce, paper, paper, plastic, plastic, gasoline, gasoline. Animal, animal. Well done, everyone. Now, the trick with the syllables is to make sure that when you say them, you clap your hands. That way, when you clap your hands, you know that you are saying the syllable the way it is in time with your clap so that you can also count how many they are. Remember, we are looking for syllables that have one, or two, or three. Put them correct in the correct bin box, and when you're done, you're going to make sentences. One sentence for one syllable, one sentence for two syllables, and one sentence for three syllables. Have fun with this one.
take your time with both exercises and I'll see you soon after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. For our exercise now, boys and girls, let's go to page eight. On page eight, we are going to be doing irregular plural nouns. Now, before we answer any of the questions, we need to remind ourselves about certain words. So let's take a look at the board. The first thing that you're going to notice at the board on the top, I have said singular means one. So when something is alone or something is only one, we say it is singular. Then we definitely know what a noun is. A noun is the name of a place, thing or person. So we have singular nouns where it's only one thing. But when they become two or more, we become or we say they become plural nouns. Now, plural means two or more. And then with the irregular plural nouns, we are talking about nouns that have no patterns. We don't have a rule for them and there are no patterns that we can follow for the noun. We know that if we have it as many, it has a different kind of setting. Unlike the other nouns where we say we add s or es, the irregular noun has no actual pattern. So we are now going to do irregular plural nouns. So let us take a look at the last two, nine and ten. Number nine says, let's read them together, we saw five dash at the petting zoo. We saw five dash at the petting zoo. So the first thing that you're going to notice about the sentence is that it has the word five. Now, if there are five and not one, that means it is a plural noun we are looking for. And because it is irregular plural nouns, we have the word sheep and sheeps. Now, when it comes to these words, I can tell you that even if it is one sheep, we say sheep. And in this case, even if they are five, we say five sheep. We do not say sheep. So our sentence will now read, we saw five sheep at the petting zoo. So the word we're going to put on the blank space is sheep, sheep. Well done. Now let's do number 10. Number 10 says, the pond was full of different dash. The pond was full of different dash. Now when something is full of something, that means there's definitely more than one. So we know that we are dealing with a plural. But because it is a plural noun, we need to find the irregular one. We have the words fish and fishes. Fish and fishes. The word we will be using there is the word fish. Fish. That is because if there's more than one fish, the word will still remain fish if we have two or more. So our sentence will now say the pond was full of different fish. So like I said before, 
Irregular plural nouns have no pattern. Some are spelled differently, some stay the same, and then others is a different word altogether. It is just depending on the plural relating to the singular. So, I would like you to please try very hard to find your irregular plural nouns. Take your time, read your sentences three times, and then try and write the correct one. But before you do, say both of them and see which one is correct. I'll see you soon after our advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list. For the attention of pre-primary schools, topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. We have now come to the end of our lesson, boys and girls, and I hope that you had fun. Remember, if you're not sure or you don't know, you can always ask an adult for help. Just make sure that you finish the exercises by yourself. So now we are done with our lesson, it's very important for us to sanitize. Make sure that you make sanitizing a regular thing. But if you do not have sanitizer all the time, you can wash your hands with soap and water as well. I wonder, I've not seen Sashi in a long time. Maybe he's outside. Oh, <laughs> there he is. Hello, Sashi. So, so from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, MyZone Online School, Amos Meerkat Syllabus and Capricorn Foundation.